Hey y'all, it's Lisa and welcome to Our Gray House. I'm taking some burlap, red burlap from Hobby Lobby. I did get it on sale and this pumpkin shaped wire wreath form that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just measuring to kind of see how much fabric I need. Do I have enough to go around the wire form? And yes, I do. I'm taking some zip ties that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just poking it through both pieces of fabric. Now I did double up the fabric, just my preference. You can do single layer fabric if you want to, but I didn't want that wire pumpkin shape coming through too much. I wanted kind of just the general shape because I thought it looked like an apple. Anyway, I'm going to poke it through both of those and then zip tie it closed. And I'm going to be putting zip ties all the way around and I'm leaving myself or trying to leave myself enough room to be able to glue the edges over in just a little bit, trimming down that excess fabric. And like I said, I'm using my hot glue to glue those down and I'm using these little baby clamps that I got from Dollar Tree. Absolutely love them. They're just, for one, they're so cute, but also they're very, very handy and helps me not burn myself. You're gonna repeat the process all the way around. And if you don't have clamps, you could use clothespins or chip clips or something like that to kind of hold it down. I'm giving this little welcome sign a light coat of Anita's all-purpose acrylic paint in the color white. And it came in a three pack. I think the other words were harvest and thankful or something like that. Now it's time to create the stem and I'm using Dollar Tree's nautical rope. And I'm just carefully hot gluing it down to get started. And then I'm just gonna basically wrap it around that stem piece. And I'm using hot glue on the wire. So be careful because that gets hot too, but I'm just wrapping it all the way up. To finish embellishing this wreath, I'm using a hula skirt from the Dollar Tree. And I, I recommend using this over just like regular raffia because this is not tangled up and it's much easier to work with. You just pick a couple strands or however many strands you want, separate it from the rest of it and snip them off. One of the things I forgot to mention is I have a Facebook group with my friend Sarah from Jujube DIY. She's a DIYer here on YouTube and she's also on Instagram and we would love it if you would join our Facebook group. The link is going to be in the description box below. And here you just see me making a very simple bow out of buffalo check ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to use that to embellish the top. I wish I was one of those crafters that could make those big fluffy bows, but I'm not. <laughs> I just haven't really practiced that enough. So I thought I was going to make two simple bows and put those together, but I didn't really like the look of it once I got that done. So I just decided to go with one single bow and I'm going to make a bow out of the raffia. And I'm going to glue that down to the top. I've already, well, I need to glue on those leaves first. And then I'm going to glue on the raffia bow. And then I'm going to glue on the buffalo check bow on top of that. And you'll notice I'm pointing out some spots where you can see the zip ties, but they aren't really that bad unless I point them out. And this is how it turns out. And like I said, unless I had pointed out where those zip ties were, you probably wouldn't have really even noticed them. And I think, I feel like there needs to be something at the bottom, but it's an apple. So it'd be hanging from a tree in theory. So I don't know what I would put at the bottom, but give me your suggestions below. Or should I wrap the whole thing in jute twine or, or the jute rope stuff? What do you guys think? This video is actually part of a playlist and it's called Sunflowers or Apples and we were challenged to create two DIYs, either sunflowers or apples. I chose apples. And it's hosted by Six Kids in a Glue Gun, Crafty Co. DIY, Mama Can Make It, The Rusted Willow, and the spotlight guest host is Sweet Little Home. I hope you enjoyed this video, but let's get on to the next DIY. I'm taking this hot apple cider sign from Dollar Tree and I'm using this little, I don't know what the utensil is called, but anyway, I'm going to use this to some sort of scraper maybe. And I'm trying to take this little hot apple cider part sign of the sign off and I'm trying to do it carefully. And of course, supervisor captain is on hand and diligently not watching, but still there. I do get the sign off, but I was wanting to, salvage that and just be able to paint over it. 
But yeah, some of the paper came up and then it just, I was gonna have to use the back. I'm using Anita's all-purpose acrylic paint in the color Spring Green Espresso Bean, True Red and White. I'm gonna paint the apples using that True Red color. And I got these apple shapes from the Dollar Tree. They were kind of hard to find though. I'm gonna use the Espresso Bean color to paint in the stem on each apple. For the leaves, I'm using Christmas Green and the Spring Green to create a two-tone look. And because the front of the sign wasn't really usable, I am painting the back of the sign using Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultramet Paint in the color Linen White. And I think I'm going to have to splurge and get a new can because this paint is really getting too thick to work with. It's not, paint, it's not as easy to paint with, but still works. I'm going to put some faux shiplap on, just eyeballing it and using a pencil to create the shiplap lines. I cut this decal out using my Cricut and it says Farm Fresh Apples and I'm just going to apply it to the front of the sign. I'm using the apples that I made as kind of a reference point for where I need to place this decal. And now that I have it down, I want to distress it a little bit. So I'm going around the edges. I just use Distress Ink to do it and a little sponge applicator thing that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going around the corners and then I'm going along the shiplap lines as well wherever I think it would normally have regular wear. It's looking pretty cute so far. Now I'm gonna attach my apples to the front of the sign, just kind of figuring out where I want to lay them out. Then I'm using my hot glue gun to put some hot glue on the back and place them down, press them down a little bit. Now that second apple does kind of, it doesn't touch the sign completely, but it's fine. These apples are actually ornaments and so they have a hole in the top. And to cover up that hole, I am just making a cute little simple bow out of jute twine, and then I'm gonna hot glue it to the top. I love both the projects that I made today, but if I had to pick a favorite, it would be this Farm Fresh Apples sign. I just love how it turned out. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. And don't forget, a link to all the channels that were hosting this playlist will be in my description box along with the playlist link. So I hope you check that out as well. Thank y'all so much for watching my video. I enjoy, enjoy, I enjoy sharing DIYs and inspo for home, food, and travel all on a budget. So if you enjoy that too, please be heard, be, please be, I can't talk, please be, subscribe is what I'm trying to say. Subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. I hope you have an awesome day. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, we're here on YouTube. It's Our Great House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye. <laughs>